Hey everybody, it's the late Boy Scout once again holding the Glock 26 and presenting you with a carry option if you are a concealed carry permit holder or if it's legal in your state to carry a gun for in one manner or another. Um, this is my sort of wilderness protection carry system and before we get started go ahead and safety check. Nothing in it. Okay, we're set. Safe gun. Safe direction. Yeah, that's a pretty safe direction. Anyway, off we go. So, um, let's say you want to carry your little jingling. That's a preview of things to come. Um, you want to carry this thing in the ready, kind of ready to, ready to rock and roll. You're on a trail, right? Because you're like, oh, you know, mountain lions, oh, bears, oh, gotta have my gun with me. Okay, yeah, maybe the Glock 26 in 9 by 19 millimeter is not ideal against a bear. You probably want a 44 Magnum. Um, however, um, I think that the uh, system I'm about to present to you is adaptable to any caliber and probably any gun. And uh, let's get into it. What I, I was inspired to do this, actually. I was inspired to make this. This is something I made. Um, watching Nut and Fancy. Watching a Nut and Fancy video. He's talking about his... Uh, his uh, fanny pack carry systems and showing them all off and showing how he's uh, sort of modded these things out, basically built them from scratch, you know, not the pack itself, but, you know, built all the, the inside um, carry system for the, the gun that's inside the pack. Put all that together himself. And so I'm like, you know what, I'm going down to my local thrift store, I'm going to see what they got for fanny packs or for any kind of little packs and just kind of brainstorm, come up with some ideas for something I could mod out and turn into a trail holster, something that I could put on my person, have pretty much at the ready, and be prepared for any kind of dangerous creatures who want to eat me. So did not find a fanny pack that day, and I'm actually kind of glad I didn't because it would it made it so that I would instead create what I have here. And what you see is Sundog brand yeah, I don't know what that is. I've never seen it before. When I bought this, it was actually brand spanking new, tags on it. Nobody had ever used this before. It's pretty much a camera bag. You get your memory sticks in here, your memory cards in here, whatnot. Maybe your tapes if you've got a video camera. And then on the inside, you would have your, basically your, your camera. Okay? And that's where that would go in there. And um, then, of course, you've got a sort of a Velcro strap here on the back. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and then you can wrap that around your belt, and then this goes down and, you know, keeps it secure on your belt. So you don't have to thread it through necessarily. You just loop it over your over your belt, and you're ready to go. And you got a little little ring here for what? I don't know, carabiner, keys, something like that. Yeah, okay, cool. That's that's nice. I got this for a dollar. A dollar at that thrift shop. Never been used, but it works great. And, yeah, as I said, meant for um, cameras, I'm pretty sure. But what do I use it for? Not for a camera. Well, I could use it for a camera. Probably, since my camera's so small, I'll just stick it in there. I can't show you my camera because it's right here. Okay? But anyway, it's, uh, it probably fit right in there so I could carry my camera and my pistol. So how do I carry my pistol in this? Just loose? Just loose? Really? You just carry it loose in there? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Look at this. Yeah, I sat and watched TV with my wife one night. And while we were watching a movie of some kind that I wasn't all that interested in, <laughs> I stitched this together. This is some elastic strips, some elastic bands that I kind of pilfered from a uh, an iPod uh, armband kind of thing. All right, it was like useless, not not using it anymore. Old iPod doesn't work anymore or something, and uh, yeah, but had the leftover elastic. And I'm like, well, I'm going to use that for something someday. I know I can. So I'll hang on to it, which I did. And some nice, strong thread here, as you can see down there. And how does this work? Well, basically, the gun goes right here. The extra magazine goes right there. So let's see this thing in action. Okay, here's an extra magazine. I'm going to squeeze this in. Now... I said before that this could be a carry system for just about any caliber, any any gun. That's if you mod it, if you do the modification, and you don't necessarily have to have this um, brand. You probably won't be able to find this brand again because I found it at a thrift, show, thrift 
thrift store, thrift shop, and um, you know, you're just gonna have to look for some type of bag that I think you think will fit your gun, and then do the modifications you need to make in order to make it fit. So there you go, that extra mag fits right, right there, when then the pistol itself slides in here, like so. Yeah, and how does it fit? Like a glove. Uh-huh. It's perfect, man. Could not fit better. Could not fit better. Do you know that there's a gun in there? Do you? Do you know that there's my, that I got my pistol in here? What about you, friendly person on the trail? Oh, no, of course not. I just got my camera in here. Oh, friendly person on the trail. We're still friends then, aren't we? Because you don't know that I'm carrying a gun. That's awesome. What about you, bear? You, do you know there's a gun in here? You don't care. You don't know what a gun is. But no, you don't know. There's a gun in here. It looks like a camera bag, doesn't it? Nope. Not a camera bag. And yeah, kind of slow on the draw. ka -chow. Yep. There you are. Just like that, man. And I could turn this thing inside out, show you exactly. Maybe I can do that real quick. I don't think it's that hard to do. Give you a slightly better look. That's how I put it together. I had to turn it inside out. So there you are, you know. A bit of stitching there. Some right there in the middle. And then that, there's some stitching on that end. And this took me a while, guys. I messed it up. You can see a couple lines here. Where I tried there first, and it wasn't quite right. So what did I do? Did I give up and throw it away? No, I unstitched it and then restitched it in the right place. I took my time and did it right. And if you take your time and do something like this right, you will have a $1 carry case for your pistol. Trail holster type of thing. Would a fanny pack be better? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. One meant for a gun? Oh, you know what? People will recognize it as meant for a gun. Anybody that's got a brain in their head will recognize, oh, that big black leather thing, that's got a gun in it. This thing just looks like a camera bag. Just looks like a camera bag. This is one carry option, trail carry option, for your Glock 26, from my Glock 26. And I love it, and I've used it. I actually, on the... Um, the first day of spring hike with my son video, I was carrying this. I didn't show it, but I was carrying this. And I didn't, my son didn't even know it, by the way. He saw me having this thing on my belt. He didn't think twice about it. He didn't know what it was, didn't care. It's just this black thing on my belt. It's obviously something that I need or whatever. Um, and we passed a few people on the trail. They didn't notice it. They didn't pay attention to it. It's just a little bag on my belt. It doesn't look like a holster. It looks like a camera bag. So, yeah, guys, totally works. You can mod something like this. And you can make a nice concealed uh, trail holster kind of thing. Maybe something that you would keep in your car. I wouldn't recommend that though. Somebody would see this and see, think camera bag. And they would think expensive camera in that bag. Want to steal it. So don't do that. Don't leave it. No, don't make this your um, car holster or car um, storage option. I wouldn't do that. But as a, um, as a type of carry option for trails, for maybe throwing this in your backpack as it is, it works, man. It works great. I love it. Totally happy with it. By the way, if you have made something like this or want to make something like this, I challenge you to post a reply vid. I want to see what you guys have come up with. I would love to see that. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Ingenuity would spark some ideas in my brain. I'd probably come up with something even better than this. So yeah, post some reply vids if you've got something similar to this that you have made. I'm the late Boy Scout, Glock 26, carry options for trail and carry options in general. We'll catch you later, guys. Bye.